If you need to slap yourself to wake yourself up, then do it. Let's go. Everybody knows Everybody short sleeve blues, 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 right? It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And Airman First You're Class is out here ready for inspection already. Sure. Your NCOs yeah. aren't out here. No one else is out here. Everybody else is geeking. There's still some people doing? taking shits and shaving away. in the bathroom. You tell them really wants to be here. I've been through once before, and I had surgery on my knee. And it's a lot harder this time. But all we need, our team, is to get more teamwork skills, and everything will be easier on everybody. So once we accomplish that, everything will be good. But until then, we're going to keep getting smoked. It's not perfect, Smith. Go in there and fix it. Recover. Recover! You must be an idiot. Who dropped you? I don't want an excuse. This isn't personal. Let's see if we got any trash under here. We don't. Look at all the dirt. Why do we have lunch and stuff underneath this bed? It wasn't personal till just now. Why do we have this under your bed? Were you snacking in bed? Didn't your mother tell you not to eat in bed? Open your mouth. Didn't your mother tell you not to eat in bed? Brings the cockroaches and the bugs, doesn't it? You must have just thought that meant cookies. Unlock your locker. See what we can find under this bed. No woolly buggers. <laughs> Wooly boogers everywhere. I thought you cleaned this room after the inspection yesterday. Oh. When's the last time you defrosted this freezer? Say again? Two days ago. Look at that shit. That's not two days ago. Now let's see if we figured out this. I thought you would have put a clean one in there by now. Look at the spots and crap on there. Didn't we talk about that yesterday? Let me get this shit cleaned up. And whenever we go into their rooms in the morning, it's their first wake up of the day. And uh, we just want to create that stress level that they may encounter in some type of other environment. If they're in a patrol base and shooting starts, they need to be able to get up, they need to be able to react. In any situation, they need to be able to react time they're rested. You never want them to have their pants down, so to speak. They should always be knowing what's going to be in front of them. They should always be alert and be ready for whatever's going to happen next. Everybody's making it through all right. We know we're having some injuries, which is pretty common to the amount of physical activity we've been doing straight. But everybody's doing okay. Motivation levels right now don't seem to be that high because everybody's just got startled and woken up. But as the day goes on, everybody will get, get back into it again once they get their wits and wake up. So we're just trying to get everybody moving right now, which is kind of hard because you got guys that are broken, shin splints, blisters, everything else. Everybody's sore. So that's the main challenge right now. The candidates face one of their nemesis and are brought to tears when we return to Forbidden Places. Be a little sorry for ourselves. Get in the center, Lieutenant. Why don't you use some of that illustrious leadership? Hurry up! It's kind of like a, almost like a, an acting school. Uh, you, you come in, you, you punch the time clock, you show up, and then all of a sudden, hey, you guys need to do this or this, this, this or this. You're wasting my time. So then it's okay. Uh, end of the day, okay, and action is done. It's just like it's it's almost like a movie set. You can kind of compare it to. Stop! You didn't do it. Get your packs off. There's 
no real one person that's uh, malicious towards any one person. Oh, go! Get out there, Wellie! Last guy, who is it? Show me that you want to be here, Ryan. It's, uh, it's an intensity level that has to be there in order for you to get your point across. Now listen! Get over there! In order for the students to uh, understand exactly what's expected of them. Listen up! You have one minute. One minute to get your rucks and BCs on. Two columns facing that direction. Go! There's a couple guys right now um, in the training that are uh, on the ropes. Move! That little ounce of self-doubt they had him and is, is, is starting to come out and uh, they may or may not quit they may or may not have what it takes I'm kind of wonder oh my god I, you know do I have enough guts to say yeah I'm gonna make it no problem or do you doubt yourself and that's the biggest thing we all have this little voice inside our heads that says no nah, come on you can't be doing this and you're a wigging or whatever and you just have to learn to shut out that little voice and when they're up here cussing at you and just saying everything in the book, even words you've never heard before, you, you have to take it lightly. You have to take it with some humor and you have to smile at it. If not, you know, it's just too much negativity. It'll just, it'll be a moral dilemma for you. It'll break you down emotionally and mentally. You'll start to think you're a loser and you'll lose your self-confidence. The final push to make it through Hell Week was on. Over the next two days, the candidates completed more activities than an aerobics class does in a month at the local health club. Running for 60 kilometers carrying 23 kilos of weight. Swims that last for hours at a time. Billy! They were like perpetual motion machines operating at full tilt with no more than two hours of sleep a night. Let's go, down the stairs, gentlemen, down the stairs! The instructors stretched the troops like an elastic band ready to snap. And at the peak of resistance, when it looked like they were ready to break, the fingers loosened. You guys tired of this week? You want it to end? Then you better get fired! Let's hear it! Tell me you want to be here! You guys think you paid your dues this week? You guys had enough? Pressure was released and all tension was instantly replaced by pent-up emotions. At the end of Hell Week, there were the men that were expected to make it. The team's leader, Lieutenant Daniels, the ex-Navy SEAL, Wolf. And then there were three that were on the bubble and yet survived. Saracini, who expressed self-doubts, Fachalanga, who found the physical runs grueling, and Welling, the instructor's target for much of the week. You're now one team. You finished phase one. You're going on to phase two. As tough as this week was, they still had to get through the ominous sounding Black Thursday, which is just around the corner. The few who have made it so far still have nine weeks to go to complete the indoctrination course. How come your beds aren't made up? Huh? How come your beds aren't made up? Sergeant, we weren't hard to, Sergeant. You weren't hard to? Yes, Sergeant. You better fix that crap. Hurry up!
after Hell Week, the candidates still had seven weeks of intense training and not knowing what to expect left in their indoctrination course. Each soldier had to keep his numbers up. They were constantly evaluated. If a candidate couldn't do an exercise in the required time, they would be eliminated. The physical and mental strains on their bodies continued unabated. Exercises replicated combat missions. The men were pushed so hard, not all would make it. session of the last day uh, it was the worst thing I'd ever experienced in my life I was terrified I came very close to quitting uh, I was blacking out I threw up all over the place I was just terrified of the water and we moved on to the buddy breathing um, 30 seconds into it he ripped off the mask and separated my partner from me and started dunking me under and for some reason I just panicked and I bolted to the side of the pool and he grabbed my shirt and pulled me back under and I bolted away again and I just said I quit and I regretted it ever since. I didn't need to. I wanted to come right back. So that's basically what happened. I just suffered some from severe hydrophobia. And I know others have too, but uh, unfortunately it got to me because I lost focus of the big picture. Along with Saracini, three more would fail. Fachalanga, Ryan, and Welling. Out of the 79 who started, 13 were left and they faced what the instructors called the worst one day of the course, a day students labeled Black Thursday. It's been looming in the background for so long. Words can't describe it, you know, but to say it's just unbelievably tough. A lot of the students don't like it. But uh, it's just a final gut check for them. It's designed to be uncomfortable. It's designed to uh, push them past their comfort level. It's, uh, it's kind of like their final gut check to see if they physically have what it takes to, to be here or be a member or a graduate of the course. A little bit scared about it. Um, planning on passing out. It's a little bit scary, but uh, I'm ready to get through it. I'm glad, I mean, I'm glad it's here because it's just going to be over with, but I'm definitely scared. I think most people are scared. Wearing full battle dress clothing, a weight belt and buoyancy vest, the students are thrown into a strenuous two-hour trial by water. They are ordered to swim 50 laps fully clothed. And while still tired, out of the water, push-ups still await those who make a mistake. But perhaps the toughest part of the exercise is the harassment. <laughs> 